Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a review video, um, but I am back with another one, and I am very excited about these headphones. These are, in my opinion, the king of in-ear earphones, uh, IEMs. These things are amazing, and we'll get into that here in just a minute, but uh, let's just jump right into this. Um, these are, the Edemotic ER4XR Extended Response In-Ear Earphones or Monitors uh, or IEMs, whatever you'd like to call them. Uh, but what they really are is just simply amazing headphones. Um, I've had a chance to, to use these for quite some time. Uh, this is not an unboxing video, this is a review video. Of, Obviously, I already opened these up and, and used them on several occasions um, while I was playing my drums, and uh, I decided it was time to make a video about these things and uh, spread the good word about these. Um, <clears throat> I know there's a lot of drummers out there uh, looking for those perfect in-ear monitors while they're playing, uh, so this video is really geared more towards, more towards the drummer, uh, but anybody that wants a really, really good quality in-ear monitor. Uh, these are for you as well. Um, but I may end up talking a little bit more about, you know, these are great with drums or whatever. But anyway, let's get into it and I'll quit rambling. So at first you can see the, the nicely packaged packaging. <laughs> uh, maximum sound experience in your head earphones. ER4XR extended response, high accuracy, noise isolation headphones. And then you flip it over here and uh, you can see that it says Accu technology for an in-ear earphone to have maximum accuracy, a perfect recording of a live performance would be produce, would produce exactly the same sound at the eardrum as the original performance. That's pretty cool. Sound simple. But to achieve this, the acoustic properties of the ear must be factored in. Edimotic scientists have produced some of the fundamental knowledge about the acoustics of the ear. Edimotic earphones are tightly tuned to reproduce the original sound spectrum at the eardrum, thus delivering the most accurate sound reproduction on the market. That's a, that's a pretty bold statement if you ask me. Um, so we'll get back into that here in just a minute. Uh, looking on the back, uh, for the most accurate earphone in the world, enhanced and extended bass. Uh, the ER4XR means extended response or extended bass. Uh, you get a little bit more low end frequency with that. Um, we'll get into the sound here in just a minute. Uh, 30 plus decibels of external noise isolation absolutely true uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit as well uh, durable anodized aluminum bodies they look fantastic and they're built like a tank uh, detachable reinforced cables allow for easy replacement or customization uh, that's a nice bonus feature um, I'll probably never use it but just in case that I do it's nice that that's there um, especially being a drummer uh, you know you're out there flailing all your limbs about you might catch a might catch a cable and it might break off. Uh, you can get a replacement cable, snap it on, and you're good to go again. Uh, otherwise, if it's not replaceable, then you're having to buy brand new cables or a brand new headphone, uh, and that would suck. So it's a really nice feature that they have on these. Uh, custom ear modes are available through a partnership with Edimotic authorized audiologists. Um, I live in a very small little town, and I have somebody that can do that uh, specific to these. So I'm sure that where you're at, uh, you would be able to do the same thing. And, and they just go in and shove this stuff in your ear and make a custom mold. Uh, you're going to get even more external noise isolation, probably more low end uh, and, a, and a little better sound doing that. Um, I think it runs about 100 bucks to do that. I have not done that yet, but I plan to. So that's... Uh, that's pretty cool too and there's literature in there and and stuff on who to call and and more info about that that we'll get into um looking down here you can see the specs sensitivity is 98 decibels uh impedance is 45 which 
<laughs> pretty awesome. Uh, maximum out to maximum output, excuse me, is 122 decibels SPL. Frequency weight, freak man, I can't talk today. Frequency range 20 hertz to 16 hertz. Channel matching within one decibel. That's impressive. Uh, cable style 60 inches, detachable at the ear. Uh, speaker type single, high performance, balanced, amateur, micro driver. So, pretty healthy specs. Uh, and then lastly, over here, you can see this. Uh, and it says over 30 years ago, Edimotic invented noise isolation, excuse me, noise isolating in ear earphones. Edimotic. Edimotic's original design, developed for auditory research and hearing testing, used balanced armature receivers and established these speakers as the gold standard in high definition in-ear headphones. ER4 earphones were the first high fidelity noise isolating in-ear earphones to use this technology in a consumer earphone. <clears throat> and are recognized as the world's leader for response accuracy to which all other earphones are compared. And I agree with that. Uh, and then down at the bottom, it just shows uh, in the box. So there you go. ERX4 headphones, detachable five foot cable, foam and three flange ear tips, filter remover tool and filters, deluxe storage case, performance certificate. We'll get into that. So let's slide this thing off, get rid of that. This is what it comes in. Pretty cool case. Uh, it still has the the uh, graph right there going across. It's kind of shiny, shiny uh, name right there. Pretty cool. You just slide it open, and then you got all your literature right here. Open it up. This is certificate of performance. So as you can see right there, a scientist is actually given his approval of the wavelength uh, and that they're matching which is pretty pretty impressive that's that's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool thing right there uh, serial number for each headphone and the fact that they match that's that's pretty impressive uh, so you'll get that, uh, I don't think that's right. I'm go with that. Uh, and then you have the headphones uh, here's the case Headphones sit in the case. In the case, oh, I already had that zip. Put those aside. So the case, as you can see, it's got several pockets. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, zippered. Um, so it's got, you know, I got my ear tips in here. And it comes with the cleaner or the filters, which are right here. Got the filters, got the adapter right here, quarter inch adapter. All the literature that talks more about it, which we can look at, uh, you know, how to put them in. The one thing that I thought uh, was kind of funny when I read this, um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, oh, right here, it says, uh, if you can see that it says moisturizing eases insertion <laughs> I got a <laughs> I got kind of a kick on that uh, but it does help uh, if you just you know moisten the air tip a little bit and then twist it in uh, it definitely helps quite a bit but I thought that was kind of funny <laughs> uh, anyway so that's that this is that we'll get to the headphones here and we'll just put all this crap aside Okay, so let's get to these bad boys. Uh, so here's the headphones right here. I don't know how well my camera's picking this up. Uh, but these are them. Did you, oops. I don't have the best equipment to do this. I'm recording this on my iPhone X uh, and I'm standing behind it hunched over trying to make this video for you guys. Uh, so I apologize if it's not uh, if it's not turning out very well, uh, but I'm doing my best trying to get this info out to you guys. Um, so please bear with me. Uh, as you can see, they're they're quite attractive. They're very nice. They're very slender. Um, these are deep insertion headphones, which means they go very far into your ear, which is 
which takes a little bit to get used to. Uh, it is very, it is kind of a weird feeling after, you know, the first few times you do it. Um, and your, your ears may get a tad bit sore. Um, but you'll get used to it. And it's not that big of a deal. It's my dog in the background. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, very nice twisted braided cable. Actually, the top part until you get to this point right here is rubber. Down here is rubber, and it's just a single single braid. Uh, so that's that. And then you got your gold tip, uh, eighth inch uh, in. So as you can see, they're they're very small in my hand. Uh, you know, I got a medium sized hand, very small. Uh, once you get used to putting these in your ear, they're very very comfortable, and you forget they're even there. Uh, very nice headphones, very comfortable headphones. Uh, the removable cable is just simple. You just twist it off, and then you're done. Uh, so you put it back on, twist it, and they're back on. Very, very simple. Uh, the filter is inside, and to get these things off, there you go. Inside is a little filter for earwax to protect the, the speaker inside. Uh, it's right there, and the remover tool just kind of screws it out like a screw. Uh, you want it, they they recommend changing that every month or so. Uh, I've had them for about a month, and there's there's nothing there, so I haven't done it yet. Uh, basically, once the sound quality starts deteriorating, it's time to change that. So uh, I think I've gone over just about uh, everything that I really need to get over. Uh, the sound is is phenomenal. Uh, just be patient finding the correct ear tips because if you don't have the correct ear tips on these things, they're going to sound terrible. But I promise you, once you find the perfect combination of ear tips with these, you're going to just be blown away. Uh, for me, it took quite a while and I actually started getting very frustrated. Um, it turns out that my left ear is smaller than my right ear. So my right ear's got a bigger ear tip than my left ear. Uh, so once I found that out, once I got that combo down, holy crap, it sounded so good. Uh, and I just really never wanted to take them out of my ear and I just wanted to keep listening to music because it sounded so good. Uh, and playing my drums, uh, these things are, are awesome. Um, I, it's, it's so hard to play drums uh, to normal headphones or headphones that don't have isolation. It's almost impossible um, because you're wailing away and then you can't hear stuff. So then you're struggling to figure out where you're at in the song or what you're supposed to be doing or you can't hear what that you know guitar player is doing. You can't hear the bass notes. Uh, so with these, and I've gone through several different pairs of headphones, um, trying to find the perfect pair that I don't have to crank the volume up uh, to eliminate some of the outside noise and then my ears are ringing for a day or um, the quality isn't good enough but the isolation is really good uh, so I'm still kind of in that same dilemma because I still can't really hear what's going on uh, so I've gone through literally about eight or ten pairs of headphones trying to find that perfect pair to where I can hear every little thing that's going on and I don't hear anything other than what's going on in my ears uh, with these headphones I have my drums going through my mixer. Uh, I got the music that I like to play along to also going through my mixer. So everything that I want to hear is coming through these headphones and I don't want to hear anything else. And these headphones deliver that superbly, beautifully. Um, my drums, because they're all mic'd up, uh, they sound so freaking cool through these headphones. It's so fun. That just adds a whole nother level of fun to my playing. Uh, which just makes you want to practice more, play more, and beat on your drums more because they sound so cool. Uh, and then when you're done practicing, you take your earbuds out and your ears aren't ringing for a day or two, uh, which is a super nice thing because I'm getting older in my age and and my ears just can't take the thrashing that they used to when I was younger. Uh, and so another plus to these is, and that helps save my ears. Um, so lots of, Lots of pluses, and then I like to just wear these when I'm laying on the couch, and I just want to listen to some music and close my eyes and relax, or or uh, lay in bed. Uh, and before I drift off, I'm wearing these and just listening to music. 
The, the other good thing about these is, um, you know, a lot of headphones, you can't uh, get real comfy in bed with them because you want to roll on your side and then you got this earphone sticking out the side of your head. Uh, and so when you lay over, it pushes into your ear. These go into your ear so far uh, that you could lay on your side and you never know it. Uh, it doesn't do anything. So that was a huge win. I've fallen asleep with these and woken up in the morning with them still in my ear. And still music playing. <laughs> That's a pretty good night's sleep. Uh, but uh, so it's a win there as well. They're just, they're super comfy. You can lay with them in bed. You can roll over with them. Uh, so they're just super comfortable. Again, they do take a little bit of time to get used to. Uh, because they go so far into your ear, but that's where you get a lot of that isolation. Um, you know, it's a little bit painful at first. Not, I, I shouldn't say painful, but a little bit, uh, it's, let's just say it's a little odd at first. Um, after that, it gets much, much better. And then it's like, it's just normal. So uh, they're awesome headphones. They're fantastic headphones. Uh, I would recommend them to any drummer out there. Um, I would recommend them to any music lover out there. Uh, I just highly recommend them. I will have a link down in the description of where I got them from. Um, they are a little bit expensive, um, but they protect your ears. They sound absolutely phenomenal. They have massive amounts of isolation. They're very well built. They come with a certification. They have an awesome warranty. Uh, the cables are built fantastic. They're replaceable. Uh, so you get a lot for the 350 bucks you're paying for. I know that sounds like a lot of money for such a little tiny thing. Um, but they're giving you an awful lot for that. So um, I hope you like this video, guys. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm a little, little rough on the videos again. I hope you liked it. If you do, please leave a comment down below. Please like my video. Please hit the subscribe button uh, and just uh, keep watching my videos. I'm Again, I say this in all my videos, I am not one of these huge YouTuber guys. I just, the stuff I buy, if I like it, I share it with you guys and just let you know uh, the goods or bads. Um, so I appreciate all your guys' support. Uh, a lot of my videos uh, do really well and it's all because of you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thumbs up to you guys. You guys rock. Uh, it's very fun to do these videos. I understand why people can make a living doing this. Uh, they're very fun to do. Uh, and I've learned a ton from, from all the YouTubers that I watch. Uh, so I just like to try to share the little bit that I can share uh, and hope that I help somebody else out there. So uh, peace out, guys. Take care. I hope this video helped. Uh, if it does, please let me know. Uh, share your opinion. Uh, take care. Have an awesome one. Keep rocking. Peace out.